Yo, welcome, Hard Knocks Football League, hashtag HKF. Oh, shout out to the watch. Um, <laughs> it's your boy, Mr. Beezle on YouTube. Mr. Beezle, Mr. B E Z I L, aka the unit on the league. And with my man, Team Clark Kent in the more mm-hmm. effing building. Woo-hoo. Hey, you talking about, I got like a little hashtag. Mm-hmm. That's your hashtag. <laughs> week nine, we're here. I'm talking low because I'm at my job right now, but week nine, we're here. <laughs> week and but we're right now we're doing week eight recaps. So far, there are three teams that are living comfortable. It's the unit. That's me. H two O D P G. Um, the other seven teams. Oh my God. Yeah. <laughs> other seven teams. Five, four, six. Sorry. Really? Yeah, he ain't walk his door. Oh. He ain't gonna other that. seven teams. You have to battle. It looks like you're gonna have to battle for your positions and. Two out of those seven teams might not make it to the playoffs. So this is a true battle, man. Y'all got six weeks left. Six weeks left. One, two, three, four, five, six. <laughs> so good luck to <laughs> y'all guys that's going to win. How you doing? Uh, no. um, so right now we're going to go into the scores. All right. Team Clark Kent versus E and Y Ravens. Team Clark Kent gets the victory 94 to 54. 40 point win. Um, Deshaun Watkins. <laughs> Watson. Watson, sorry. <laughs> he, we ain't not going to speak about him for the rest of the year anyway. 32 points. Mm. How do you feel about that? You're going to, you know, Watson goes down in practice. Yeah, man. Um, today. It's, I'm sick, man. You know, I have Rodgers, now Watson. Fucking Team shut down right here. It's crazy, man. It's <laughs> not my year for the QB, boy. It's all good. Yeah, it just... Next man up, right? Yeah, team is 4-4, four four, so these are the times that yeah, players should not get injured. But this is how being an owner is, you know? Look at that. <laughs> this is how being an owner is. You got to go through those defeats, those injuries. Now, um, next game. I'm going to do all three of my games, all right? Team Dynasty versus Bone Breakers. Shut up. <laughs> Bone Breakers gets the victory 94 to 8, 99 to 84. Eagles D 21 points. See, don't sleep on, on these leagues. Defense can be your high scorer. Congratulations to Bone Breakers. Go ahead, you can do it. All right. Next game is Tampa 2 versus the Unit. Tampa 2 oh, gets the victory. My game. 25 points from Elliott. Oh, nice. And the one loss. Finally takes out the undefeated team. Go win, Tampa. Go win, Tampa. Right, next game. You're lucky one of my players was, wasn't playing. Whatever. Machiavelli franchise <laughs> versus H2O. This is the rivalry. They go back and forth. This game went to think. Franchise was so comfortable. He was so happy. He had the victory. Probably wasn't paying attention to the last two minutes of the game. And H2O ended up getting the win. From the Chiefs defense with 20 points. You should never sleep on a Monday night game. Watch it. Don't go to bed thinking you got the victory. Anything can happen. So, yeah. And now you're sick, Tim, for Elliott out six games. Yeah. Mm. You tra- I'll take him if you want to trade him. <laughs> <laughs> he said you want to trade him. <laughs> All right, next game. Devil's Playground versus I win. You lose. Devil's Playground gets the victory. 124-105. Top score was Hopkins with 28 points. Good victory, man. You've been really trying to put a super team together, so we'll see how this works out for you in the long season. <laughs> Better luck next week. I don't know how long you lose. <laughs> well, <laughs> all right, so as I'm going to go, before I go into my rant, um, I'm trying to plan something out probably next week, maybe if we can go chill. It's up to y'all. I'm going to ask y'all. What day next week? Saturday. So, so they can make their schedules clear. Y'all can fulfill a Saturday <laughs> or if y'all want to go on. A, no, I mean, if y'all can fulfill a Sunday or a Saturday, whatever night, whatever, that we can go watch a game. We could do that. Okay, okay. Just got to no work together. No I know okay. that. That's what I just said. I said no Saturday. <laughs> right. Sunday. If it's a Sunday night because he works, he gets us Sunday night so we can go and watch the Sunday night football game somewhere. We can plan this out. We can all go chill, watch a basketball game maybe on a Saturday. Maybe, you know, we just got to f- put all our plans together. Um, everything that was going on with me has is a little surpassing now, so I'm ready to do it. I hope I worded that right. Sorry if I didn't. All right. On to my rant. 
Fuck. Who's next? <laughs> <laughs> There's mad people coming in the elevator. <laughs> I apologize. Alright, you know, I'm in P10. No P7. P7. All right, I'm going to move the camera. Oh, they went to the gym. Don't worry about it. Oh, all right, all right. All right, on to my rant. All right, fellas. My record last year was 6-8. and eight. I didn't get my third win. I'm, I'm breaking this down so I can go into my rant. I didn't get my third win until <laughs> week eight. That means that I went through two wins, and I went through unlimited losses until finally week eight, basically. Um... I never took any ill chances. I didn't give up on my team. I tried to do everything that was right to make sure I can get those wins and do what was best for my team. And what was my position? I ended up going into the playoffs eighth seed and winning the chip. Granted, not a lot of people can do that. That was very luck, good luck. It might have been luck. It might have been just strategy, whatever. But at the end of the day, I never put my team in a, in a, in a place where I'm tanking. Now, this goes into Mr. Franchise, no, my Machiavelli franchise, Freddie. Freddie, the way the moves that you're making, I would never last year picked up a player that, how should I say, is a good player, great player, whatever, but is having a horrible season. Why would I take a chance at that with one win? Why would I go with, I'll put Julio Jones right there, who has one touchdown this season. Why would I want to take a chance to go, well, you never know what he's going to do. What the fuck do you mean? You only have one win. You can't take chances <laughs> like that. So when I see things like that, I go, yo, this dude is tanking the season. And what you're doing is you're, you're allowing other teams, which now I'm going to flip it on John right now, to manipulate you. <laughs> so that trade, and I'm dead serious, John, that trade went through because I had so much things going on. I didn't get the veto it. But that trade I made was really very, very. <laughs> Listen, I don't care what Freddie thinks of McCoy. McCoy is nice. Now I know you're gonna say, "Oh my God, he gave you he gave you two points a couple minutes ago." That's from the Jets Bills game. But overall, McCoy yeah, gets like his touchdown. Last week, he gave you thirty. Like we know he's a great player. Hopkins, dude, he's killing. That trade was crazy. And I know how you are, John. You don't like giving away your best players. You like to give them mediocre or the players that's not doing well and make it sure. That trade was very unfair. I'm just going to be honest with y'all. And you, you made your super team. But I'm not the only one saying this either. So people are looking at your team and they're saying your team is still beatable. So whatever strategies you just pulled right now, I hope, I hope you, you win the chip with it because... A, now the target's on you. The target ain't in on me. I'm 7-1, and one and I don't even have a target on my back. Target's on you <laughs> with the trade you made <laughs> with the team that wants to tank his team. Freddie, and we know that you're trying to tank. We know it. We know you ain't trying to win at all. Like, we see the moves you're making. That's my rant, yo. We need to play. I don't care. I, like, my, my whole point in saying that is last year I had two wins for a while. And I made sure I tried to collect my wins. And all, all I ended up with was, was with four more wins after that to make it to the playoffs. You still have a chance to make it to the playoffs, Freddie. Stop fucking up. <laughs> That's all I'm saying. And this thing I nothing to do. We always getting on you. Yo, stop with the moves you're making. Like, very slick. So, I hope I see y'all. It's got nothing to do. It's nothing personal. But, you know. Hello. How y'all doing? <laughs> so this is nothing personal, but got to do y'all things, man. This was a crazy video because I was at my job, but yeah, it was a lot longer than we wanted it to be. <laughs> so just for y'all information, <laughs> all right. But like I said, week nine. Yeah. How you doing? Yeah. Week nine, six more weeks yeah. left. Books. Let's get it in, man. But everybody got to play up the part because I can tell when people trying to be a little, little sneaky. Uh, little, you snuck in that trade. But it's cool. I, I'm, I still am confident with my team. Mr. Carquette's still confident with his team. H2O still confident with his team. Dynasty still confident with their teams. Everybody's been talking about this trade. So <laughs> we'll see y'all next week. Just had to get my rant off. I haven't had a rant in a while. 
This hand is supposed to be talking this hand. All right. So we will holler at you later. Team Clark Kent. Hashtag HKF. All right. T Mr. Beasel, the unit, we out. I told you I was going to get you, John. Freddie, you going down this week. Oh, wow. You about to be 0-8. Oh, wow. 0-8. <laughs> you better just don't even sign it. It's 0-8. <laughs> Later, y'all.